What's up everyone, it's DB and we're back in Block Tycoon. It is a really cool game. If you haven't played it yet, you're missing out. It's really fun, honestly. If, you, if you've ever seen like Islands, this basically like simplifies Islands like immensely. Or if you played like Factory Tycoon, not Factory Tycoon, it's Factory Simulator. You've probably seen that on my channel a few times. This is like a really dumbed down, I don't want to say dumbed down because it's not dumb, but it's just a simplified version would be a better um, phrase of that, of a Factory type like Tycoon game. But it has a lot of like Minecraft elements. So you can see there's like a cobblestone farm here. So I've been playing this. You've probably seen a couple videos on my channel of this game. And last where I, oh, you know, I haven't even gone in there. What is in there? I just noticed that. Sorry. Let me, let me, I don't have ADD. Okay. It's fine. I'm totally concentrating on you right now, but I'm really curious. No, seriously though. Um, or yeah, I was talking about how awesome this game is. It's pretty awesome. And you need to check it out if you haven't already, because it is awesome. So that was a cool intro, right? No, not a cool intro until I say, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, because that'd be cool. That would help me like reach a hundred and something thousand subscribers at some point up here i've got my auto farm and you, if you remember the last video that i did i was only like two lives and i really 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 wanted this watermelon farm see let me show you the watermelon farm right so i got that i got the life too and i don't even know if i got to that in that video i can't remember by now but there's also pineapple farms check that out so they added pineapples at some point i don't know when they did that but the main update for this was the mushroom farm it's a hundred million it's a hundred million look at that it's a mushroom farm for a hundred million it's so expensive and you get like this mushroom compressor because that's what you do to mushrooms you compress them somehow i have no idea i've never heard of that in my life but apparently it's 100 million too so i would rather just buy the farm but i don't know what the compressor is i'm guessing this is like a process so like after you make your mushrooms then maybe you get a compressor but i don't know so i'm not gonna act like i know but i will eventually so just stay tuned for that part where i fake things but what i'm gonna be doing is we really need the pineapple farm can't afford it so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and keep making wheat farms so we're gonna continue stacking this making some good money to be honest and i already got a little bit of this this is kind of like an island style tower not really original it didn't really originate in this game either we kind of started this stuff in islands so it's pretty much a similar design you've probably seen my videos on islands it's a very similar design basically it falls down here now my friend jay-z did tell me that i should get a compost so i'm gonna probably save up for that next because that's gonna amplify how much i make off of my wheat although i have weird suspicions that it doesn't when i was doing my test it kind of did so we're just gonna do that and hope that it is but it looked like the timing based like because you have to wait for the soil to fill up it looked like it was making more but here's the other thing i also need a splitter because as soon as that drops i need to split the fertilizer from the soil that gets sold right and that's gonna make sense in a minute if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm assuming you don't know like if you're a block tycoon content creator you need to go check out like I, there's there's another content creator called diamond and he's really cool i added him on discord started talking with him a bit and he's got really really cool builds on his um channel i will link his channel in the description below so you can check him out he's really cool yeah diamond rbx definitely check out his builds he's got like fifty thousand rebirths i'm exaggerating by the way it's more like forty nine thousand five hundred. but yeah he's got a lot of rebirths okay Okay. And I'm on like, and we call him Rebirth of the Lives. I, I don't even know. I think he's like 45 or 50 or 60. I don't know. But yeah, he's got a lot of lives. And basically each time you do your life rebirth, what happens is you get like an extra, I think it's like extra 5% or something like that. I know that was the last message I got. See, so it's like now, and it goes up every single time. It's like 100 million for this one, 200 million for this one, 300 million for this one. I think it was 200 million. I think it was. But yeah, I think it's like 100 million for each rebirth. It's not really exponentially growing, which makes it really easy for you to, you know, eventually catch up because it's not exponential. But you're getting this 5% um, bonus which is still substantial over time not really big for like the smaller stuff but five percent over time with the big stuff does count so you can see and that might be why i have like 0.1 instead of like 2000 it's like 2.2 2.5 2.4 so yeah anyway you get the idea and so we're saving up five million right now we're gonna get this um we gotta you know we need all we, we need to get this uh filter where's it at by the way i haven't done any of these these not gates and repeaters and stuff i haven't messed with any of those i can't wait to do it though i'll do it eventually right now my my focus is 100 percent on doing a bunch of rebirths i don't know why don't ask me why because i have no idea why but it's important to me okay so we got our filter we already have a ton of conveyors so i'm thinking about like just filtering now thinking about it i'm thinking about it we might as well just set it up in advance i mean it's we'll just do it so here's my wheat let's get these in and it kind of reminds me of like remember islands if you've ever played islands you had to like face the way you want to hey hey wheat come back here oh no it's getting all over the place hurry 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 uh there okay so it kind of reminds me of that where things were really awkward with the way you had to build because you don't have like a rotate button if you hit r it does like the rebirth screen so and that's fine that's fine i'm not complaining not, i'm not complaining a lot of her okay i'm sorry i'm sorry okay so i'm gonna set up this thing for the input right here and then i get to set what i want it to come out as so i want the wheat to come out for now i want the wheat to come out right here and then because eventually i'm gonna update it because once you get the fertilizer um in soil you're gonna use that instead um actually you know what i could do i think if i remove that it goes to the center oh that's perfect okay so we'll just do that we'll put that here for now perfect oh i forgot i had all this too i gotta sell all that i totally forgot i had all this 
I have these. So if you notice these chests right here, this basically, you know, see how my inventory is going up? I have 14,500, 14,600. That's because if you look right here, there's an item limit, right? So the item limit keeps spiking up and up. You don't want that to go red. As soon as it's basically like um, Islands Despawn. If you ever played Islands, it's kind of like Islands Despawn where this, um, you have items that start despawning because there's too many out here. The way you solve that is by doing a tower because see how long it takes for these conveyors to get all the way over here. This right here, don't ever do what I did. I just did this because I was so, I was super lazy, okay? I was super lazy. I'm never going to do it like this again. I just like seeing conveyors. It looks really cool. It looks cooler, but, and that's not despawning yet, by the way. Those are just stacking and they basically, they consolidate. It's a really cool idea. I, you know, I should have known better, but the way you do this is you just stack them like this. It just takes a little bit more time to stack up, but not too bad. And that way everything just falls down immediately into this. And I, I took this from Jesse. Um, Jesse TC plays this game too. This is one of his designs and I thought it was a brilliant idea. So this, I'm not taking credit for this design at all, but I love this because basically you have two furnaces here. You've got a um, compactor, you got a brick maker, then you got your stair maker, and then you got your slab maker, right? And each of these basically fill up and go into the chest into my inventory. I have 17,000. I'm going to drop that in a second. But what's cool about this is if these are busy, it just keeps, it keeps moving. It's like, oh, you're full, you're full, you're full. And it keeps floating down until it finds a slot. And so you can see it's like, it's disappearing here because it's finally finding an open furnace. And the problem is the travel time on this. This would be fine right here if this was actually stacked as a tower, right? So if it was a tower all the way up like that, then it would be immediate and I would, this would be probably pretty much in the green because I wouldn't have all these just floating out here and counting towards my limits because that's a lot. These are all going really fast. The other thing um, I think was diamond and someone else, someone else uh, mentioned it, but this is a, a shortcut. So you can see I was starting to do wires here and I, I kind of disabled this one, but this is like one format where you can use wires to basically make your um, pickaxe thing go faster. So typically what you, you know, you do is use a timer and I'll show you what that is real quick while we're waiting. Um, so let me put an observer here. So this is the wired format and you're going to notice that it's pretty fast. It's actually faster than the um, facing observers. I'm going to show you that in a second. This is actually faster. The problem is it's so much work to do because you have to buy wires and then you got to go and like hook them up and then you got to take out blocks and then you got to put this thing and it's just pain. Whereas these are so much faster because all you got to do is take out two blocks and put them next to each other. And what's happening is the observer, the green part, this part, um, see this green part? That's the, that's the sensor is the green part. Anytime the observer blinks, it basically and triggers and it pulses. Basically it receives that and it sees that the block changed. And so they just go back, big, they go back and forth. It's like, you're it, no, you're it, no, you're it, no, you're it, no, you're it. And they just keep going back off each other and they're sending pulses to this thing right here because it's connected to it. So this thing's the, the one that's actually pulsing this one. And right over here, this, um, this is an observer. So it's observing the fact that this block changed and then it sends a pulse to the X and that's why it's super fast. So this is definitely faster, but when you're working inside, um, this kind of style game, cobblestone is pretty, pretty much like, you don't really have to do much to this. You don't have to like worry about the little bit of extra time you're getting off this. You're pretty much using cobblestone for a small amount of time, maybe like a day or two of cobblestone. And then you're going to move on to crops. You notice I didn't say anything about trees. That's because I don't really like the tree format. Trees are really cool because you can drop saplings and you can keep replanting saplings and you just have to buy the equipment. But the thing is, is about the saplings. Okay. So you got the tree farm, it's 10,000 and you see all these, right? These are all the trees you can buy and you can upgrade them and stuff. But the problem is 10,000 for the kit. I have to buy, as part of that kit, there's a woodcutter. That's another 10,000. That's already 20,000. Unless I bought, not the woodcutter, sorry, um, the tree cutter. It's right here, the sawmill. So that's another 9,000. It's pretty much the same price. So you got to buy another sawmill, right? You, you do need the saw for like cutting the wood afterwards, but you need this to be able to cut the tree. And that's that right there. So you need to buy this, which is basically the same price as this. And it, this comes with observer. And observers are, uh, granted, they're only $100. So it's basically 10,000 right there. Same price, but then you got to get the soil, right? So now you got to go and get a compost. You got to get the conveyor. It's pretty much the same price if you think about it. It's not that more expensive, but it just feels like cobblestone is just so like easy to just do because you're going to need the cobblestone farm anyway to get that first 10K. Why even bother if you're just kind of middleman stepping it up to this? Because then once you get to this, you start making millions. Why would why would I make a wood farm that's going to produce like, it's not even that much. It's, I think it's like 40 or something. I can't remember what it was. It was really, really little. Um, So I just skip that altogether. I just go from cobblestone straight to crops. It does take a little bit longer probably, but it's fine for me. So we got 4 million, 4.4 million. I'm just going to drop these here it should give us what we need so what you want to do is just hold down q to drop like if you do one at a time i'm not gonna i'm not gonna i have 26,000 of these i'm not gonna do this like and sit there and spam these it's gonna be dumb so you just hold down q for a while and i drop the full stack and now we got 5.2 million so let's go buy that so we need the composter for five there we go so now what i'm gonna do is right here we're gonna put the composter and basically 
the wheat's gonna fall into that and then my composter is coming out you can see the composter is making 35,000 17,000 and see right here this is the f fertilizer I need to grab that real quick give me that fertilizer please give me it there we go so now I can set the fertilizer to go right here and I can set it um, a treasure chest let me find my treasure chest there we go so I can set up a treasure chest right here so it fills into my inventory I might have to put a conveyor no it's it's fine it's going directly so it's eight now and then on this side um, I mean actually I could just uh, yeah I could just leave it like this this works yeah I'm making a lot more money now look at that money coming in so what I need to do is I need to go up and make more farms now that that's set up it's pretty cool so let's drop this here and then um, I'm going to hold these for a bit and at some point we're gonna start just taking this down um, I haven't done it yet I should probably should start doing a little bit of it like I'm gonna go and shut this off you can just use cobblestone to fill these up if you're gonna take it down like that and then we're just gonna take these away because we can always use observers later I don't know what for but we just don't want our wheat despawning I mean technically I can leave all this and since I'm probably gonna do that I'm just gonna take down two more I'm just gonna take the axe away I actually just take the observers away there we go I successfully shut it down no more skynet all right are these all used to it's like it's slowing down a bit is it gonna reach the end I don't think it's gonna reach the end anymore so we can take these away and shorten their distance so you say we're, we're staying in the middle now pretty pretty nice there and then I'm gonna start adding some more of these crops so we have 2.5 mil let's go and get two more crops and then what I'm gonna do is I need like a hundred million so it's not gonna take that long to get a hundred million now and what we need to do is we need to get that mushroom farm so let me get another crop here and I'll, I'll show you how I do this actually I'll do this on the top just so you can see how we do this so basically I have the stairs all the way up and you can do the stairs last but um, they just help you get up so as you're expanding and so I've got my crops here and by the way a little shortcut for you hold down shift to click and it'll put it in a slot um, or you can just click it but it's gonna drag it like that I don't really like that so just hold down shift and it snaps it and so when you place this make sure you get rid of this little lever here so you can place more crops afterwards basically you won't be able to fit this without removing that and then you can just put this again and get rid of that little because you don't need it you're not going to toggle your farm off so you don't really need that everything else can stay but you really don't need that and now we got our crops and we're just going to wait a little bit more we get another mill so i'm going to probably stack these for a while until we get enough like per second i think we'll do it until like we're making i want to say like twenty thousand per second minimum we're pretty close i mean we're like right on it let's do it until like let's do like fifty thousand we'll do it at fifty thousand so i'll keep expanding this for a bit and there's no real reason there's no backup here uh, unlike the furnace over here there's nothing really backing this up like it processes so fast like as as much as you can throw at it it processes let's go ahead and dump these a little bit extra money but yeah pretty soon i'm going to shut off that cobblestone farm plus it's really laggy too that's that farm is really laggy buy another and place it so yeah we're doing about 20 a little less than twenty thousand per second so we got space for looks like four more farms which should do it for us maybe no we need we need another but yeah we're definitely going to need another level so let's go and put another level in and how you do that is pretty easy you just put a block above this on each of these like that and since these crops are pretty short you don't have to worry about much and then just expand it out right over it like this just like islands except shorter islands is like six blocks it's crazy tall this one's nice because you only need one block i think for strawberries diamond knight no he might know but i think for strawberries you need um three blocks and because this is going up we'll go up, up that so i have a feeling we're gonna need two more levels yeah we'll, we just need one more level so we'll we'll go ahead and go up like this so it's like three blocks total we'll just pre-make it that way we don't have to bother with it later by the way auto clicker helps you break stuff faster i don't know if you know that but this game if you can um if you auto click it the pickaxe is really really powerful okay we got our final level up here so that's a lot of farms we can do a lot of farms now so let's go ahead and dump all this let's get our three new farms don't forget to get rid of that lever unless it's the final one it doesn't matter it's just when you're trying to fit them together by two more one there it's fine right here actually i think it's only like i think you only get blocked by one Oops, I just fell in. I just fell into the pit of death. No, I got to reset. Rip. You notice our item thing is is staying pretty low. We're in the green constantly now. Just by disabling a couple of those cobblestones. Because the distance, we did the furthest ones. So that helps a ton doing the furthest. Everything else is traveling shorter. So just because I like fast loads, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. Fill in the grass. Buy two more farms. Yeah, so when you're placing these, it looks like it's only the first one. Here we go. Do we have any more slots on this one? No, okay. Yeah, see, it's right here. It's just on this one. It's the left side. And after that, I think you can fit everything. But it needs this slot right here i'll show you that in a sec so we're doing a lot we're doing over thirty thousand right now that's good that means our 100 million is going to come in fast so let me get that next one i was trying to explain to you like why you need to take that lever off because now i feel stupid but you see i can't place it because it's blocked by that lever so if i get rid of that i think it's only on this one no it's on all of them so you gotta i think it's i think it's until the final one i think if you take this one off or is it no you know what i think what it is you gotta place left first so you place this one then this one then this one then this one then i think it doesn't matter that's what it is. So you, it's your order of placement. You don't even need to take the lever out. I was just placing it wrong. So you got to do this one, this one, this one. Don't do it this way. If you go this way, then it creates problems. I'll show you that in a sec. Big noob DV. Shh. 
shush. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm new to the game, okay? I'm, I'm new. Look what kind of farm I made. Clearly, I would never do this in islands had I known there would be an item limit issue. And the dev, Alonifer, came in and politely giggled. I don't know if you could politely giggle as someone, but he did that. And it was pretty amazing. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten this a bit just so we can... I just want to see that green even less. Let's just sell stuff here. And we'll get rid of these. That should make a real green all the time. We like the green. It looks better than yellow. There we go. Let's go pick all these up. Now, I think this is starting to spike a little bit because of our farm up here. You can see how much faster that's going. Oh, yeah, we got enough. We got enough. Let's go sell those. We'll sell this too. But by the time we get upstairs, we should have enough. So I'll show you my idea for placement. All right, let's buy four of these. So we're going to place this one. Then we're going to place this one. Then we're going to place this one. Then this one. Ah, uh, we still have to take one out. Rip. I know I was scammed. I know I was going to get scammed somehow. There we go. It has to be clear. Oh, there we go. So that's all four. We only had to take out one lever. That's kind of nice. It's better than how I was doing it. So I got two more I got to get. And so I'm just going to hang out up here because we're going to get that pretty quickly because it's flying. Look how much money we're getting per second. Wait, does it look like it's only 20? Looks like it slowed down a bit. Well, sometimes it spikes to 40. So I don't know. I think it's because stuff still it's still growing. It's going pretty fast. Wait, sometimes it's... Oh, look at... Look at I, oh no, I think wheat still comes through. No, nah, yeah, we're good. And if you're wondering what fertilizer does, you can just do that and you can plant grass in your island. So pretty. It's a, it's useless. It's useless. Hey, you can kind of plant grass, I guess. Can you sell the grass? Scam, scam. You can't sell the grass. I'm sorry. So we need to buy two more. Then we're just going to save the rest and we're going to wait it out. And then I'll hit you up in a little bit when we are ready to go. Can I fit this? Yep. So all crap, all crops are planted. So we got how many of these? One, two. So yeah, we got six layers of four. So that is 20. 24 crops. If you're wondering how many crops that or how many farms that is, it's 24 24 farmers. So we're staying in the green. So I'm just going to leave these active. We're not going to do anything with these. I might expand this back to a little bit if it's hidden this cell pad a lot. Yeah, it's still hidden it. So let's go and expand it back out because, you know, every little bit helps. All right. So now we're going to FK a bit. It's only, hey, yeah, we're making enough. We're making enough. So I'll see you in a minute. All right. We're coming up on the 100 million mark. Just taking this stuff away. There we go. So let me drop this. We're at 99 million. We're about to be able to afford. Man, I got like so much fertilizer to have like 1500 fertilizer we're about to get our first mushroom farm i have no idea what to expect by the way i have never bought one of these i have no idea what to expect i haven't even watched videos on it but you see it creates mushrooms which you need to collect and process my guess is this is the most worthless farm ever <laughs> Imagine I buy this after 100 million and it's useless. It creates mushrooms, which you need to process. I bet I have to get like, do I have to get this? Wait, what is this? Creates mushroom grass from soil. Wait, should I should I've used this? It looks like it doubles it for 10 mil. I bet I should have used that. It's okay, we can get it in a second. But this thing is, it can only compress one mushroom type at a time. Best used with filters. Oh no. So the mushroom farm creates these. And then I'm gonna have to save up another 100 million. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get this first. Yeah, let's go and get the... We'll, we'll get that first because what I'm going to do is I'm going to double my income here. But my production's going to boost this here. And yeah, I'm not using glass. I'm too lazy to use glass. Don't bore the DV, right? And then infuser. So we're going to put this here. Then we're going to put this. How to do it. How to do it. You know, I can just put it right here. Get rid of our filter. And then we're going to put this here so that it does that. And then we're going to put the filter here right in front of it. Let's get the mushroom glass grass first. And then we're going to sell that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the filter this right here. And we're going to put the chest back. Okay, so we should be making a lot more now. Yeah, we are. 35000 a piece. Okay, that should be doubling our income. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. There we go. That was 387000 Let's get this. And then I've got to figure out this processor thing. I'm not too excited about that because if I have to get a processor, I'm going to be so mad. I'm legit going to go and spend $100 million on this farm. And we're not going to have enough. You know what? I'm tempted, everyone. I have a feeling this is a big trap. I'm going to waste so much money and time. But I'm pretty sure based on what I'm reading here, it creates mushrooms, which you need to collect in process. I kind of think we need to invest back in our farms. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh, look at the mushroom, the melon tower. Melon has 108 melons growing in it, all funneling into one composter. Oh, that's basically like what we have now. So let's see, we got... So it's nine, right? Nine seeds times four. So it's 27 plus times three times six. Yeah, it's 162. It's a pretty sizable tower for such little money. I mean, it's only 100 million. Kind of thinking about doing that. I feel like it would just be a big waste to do the mushroom. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. I might regret it, but let's do it. I'm pretty confident in I'm making that I'm making the right decision because what's going to happen is I need 200 million. So if I need 200 million, I need to get this watermelon farm going so that I can make that 200 million. Did I say 2 million? I meant two 100 millions. 
That's what I meant, okay? No boli. All right. We almost have enough, and we're going to go buy that. We're definitely going, like, twice as fast as before, though. All right, we got enough. We got enough. So let's get another watermelon farm. We're going to also get another one of those infusers for 10 mil. So what I'm going to do, though, before I do this, because I don't want to regret it, let me get some... I'm going to get some cobblestone, and we're going to make a couple layers up, because I don't want to have a situation where I can't um, add stuff to it, you know? I guess it doesn't matter. I can always dig under it. That'll be fine. We'll just put it over here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this, and let's buy our tower. Wait, you got to have premium shop to do that? Dude, what? I mean, I could buy that. It's just kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, a little pay to win. So what if instead I use my 105 mil? That's growing pretty fast. What if, can only compress one mushroom tip at a time? Dude, look at the money on this thing. Are they just like randomly growing or what? This is so risky. I'm kind of tempted to just buy a bunch of pineapple seeds. Can I not buy this? So yeah, you need the game pass. So I'm not going to, so I'm not going to do that. I could, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to do, geez, if I spent, that would cost me, I would get 14 seeds. It wouldn't pay it back. It would take so long to pay it back. So if you look at the composter right here, it tells you like how much you would make typically. So like pineapples are 26,000. So like I'm currently doing wheat. That's like essentially turning it into 17,000. But you see how it converts it to 17. But over here, it converts it to, it looks like 70,000. And then it doubles, right? So it'd be like, yeah. So it would be like 140,000 a pop. That's actually pretty impressive. But I would have, that means I would have to replace the entire farm with pineapple. My feeling is I just need to start with the, um, I need to buy this. That's my feeling. I needed to do it. So, okay. So it looks like it farms, like you can farm all kinds of these. Let's see, where do I place this? Where's the output? Where's the output at on this thing? Don't know. Is it just going below it? Below it? Uh, or do you just have to collect them? It looks like they're dropping in the middle. Can't tell. So I kind of want to put it on something. So let's put it on something high, especially if we're going to want to make like a tower of these eventually. I don't want to make a fool of myself. So and it looks like we're making, um, we're making quite a bit right now. So by the time I'm done with this setup, I think we should be in pretty good shape to buy that processor or compressor. Because from what I understand, I don't think you can sell mushrooms. But maybe you can. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm wrong. So I'm going to do this and I'll just dig under it if I screw up. Okay, let's put it right here. Okay, so there's the outputs. And we already got some. Okay, I don't think we can sell these, but let's check. Wait, did it just sell? It did. It sold for 70000 What? Wait a second. Here. Oh, man, I was so wrong. Just put that here. Whoa. What is that in the middle? Oh, that's just the source. Okay. That's like the mushroom source. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't I didn't screw up. I thought I did. Yay. So we're going to circle these. We'll get rid of this. See, we should, we should have observers doing this, but I don't know if you can easily. I'll have to look at that. But for now, let's do this. And then this side needs to go this way. We'll just set up the cell thing right here. Now, can I convert these to like compost or do I have to squish them? Like, I don't think you can convert compost with this. I don't think they're supported by mushrooms. Yeah, they're not. So we need this thing. And you can see right here, it's going to double it. Or no, it's going to times four makes one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So you need four of those to make that. So it's like, it goes from 281,000 to 563,000. That's so good. So yeah, we're making like a ton of money now. I'm so glad I did this. Let's put another cell thing over here. This feels kind of lame. Let's put it like right here just for now since I have it. And let's sell all these. Oh, what is this? Wait, what is, wait, what is this? I could plant more of these. Wait, what? What is that? Is this like a source? What? What is that? Does it just grow stuff around it? Wait, what is it growing on anyway? Is it like stone? What is that? Let's check. Oh, it's mushroom soil. We got mushroom soil over here. Let's put it on mushroom soil then. Right, there we go. Let's sell it now. Okay, I've got 10 of it. Can you actually like farm it if I put it in chests? Oh man, th this would be huge if I could just farm it. All right, let's try this. We're just going to experiment real quick. I don't really care if it doesn't work, but I'm kind of thinking this might be a better build. So what we have here is the mushroom, right? And that's a source mushroom. And then what we can do is we cut this out just in front of it and behind it. And it looks like it can reach um, just one block around to so basically do this, right? But what you don't do is you don't put mushroom blocks on the sides. And what you could do, I'll do a different video on this. I think you could just create a line and we can create a um, something like this. But I don't know if this is what is going on here. It kind of looks like it. Yeah, it is. So yeah, you basically have it only grow here. You don't let it grow on the sides. And what you could do is you can make a tower that way. Basically, this is the totem. And then, yeah, we can make a tower of this. I'll do that in the next video because we're kind of going long on this. But I, I have an idea on this that could be a pretty cool build. I'm sure um, others have made builds for this. I haven't seen them yet because I haven't really watched anything mushroom wise. So I think I got a cool tower idea though. We'll do a build on this. See how it works out. But we have 41 mil right now. We're almost getting our processor. It's pretty cool though. We got the really excited that we got the mushrooms. I didn't know you could make money off of it. I, I heard that you have to process them and stuff. And I was like, what does that mean? But apparently you can start selling stuff. That would have been like kind of scam. Otherwise, so we're at 444 mil. So I think what I'll do is I'll continue that in the next video though. But we did get our mushrooms. So stay tuned for the next video. And um, we'll probably rebirth in that one. We got 255 million here. Yeah, we might do a rebirth on that after we build a really cool mushroom tower. So stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next vid. Peace.